Hey y'all, welcome back to the Artsy Studio. I wanted to start this video with a conversation about, <laughs> I feel like I'm making this sound way more serious than it really is. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm crocheting. That's how not serious this is. <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I saw a couple of comments on, and I've gotten these comments before, but a couple of comments about how I am underpricing my stuff, specifically my pillows and the wall hangings, like the smaller stuff. In all honesty, I really appreciate these comments. Like truly I do. And uh, my mom has said that. I mean, doesn't every mom say that though about their kids stuff? Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about like underpricing or rather mostly underpricing like your art, but also just like pricing your art in general. So do I underprice my stuff? The answer, the truth, <laughs> is yes I do. Like knowingly, I underprice my stuff. And there's a couple of reasons for that. This is all based only on me and my own, my own style of things and how I want to do things, the stuff things. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I have cookies in the oven. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't undercharge or underprice my stuff um, like a lot, but buy a lot. I, I mean, maybe on like some pieces, especially like smaller pieces, the smaller it is, I feel like probably the more underpriced it is. And the reasons that I do that are, firstly, the cost of everything, um, like the materials, the tools, my time, if I priced it, what it should be it would be so far out of reach my rugs are are pretty close probably around probably like within the neighborhood of what they should be it's mostly like my small stuff that i would do this to so maybe crocheting wasn't the best idea for this because i have to like count and like pay attention i don't want my art to be out of reach um and i know that like i can't make art for everybody and I can't just like you know underprice my stuff so much I, I just I really just love making stuff again this is only me this is no reflection or my thoughts on any other artist or anybody else besides me um but I just I love what I do I love what I make I don't underprice so much that I don't make money back so I'm not like you know, hurting myself. Um, I'm just probably not paying myself what I should be. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I want my art to, you know, be in y'all's homes and I don't, I don't want to hang on to it forever. Like I obviously want to be able to pay my bills and I do. Um, but I also want to, I feel like this is really hard to put into words. But I kind of like ride the line of being able to pay my bills and being, you know, pricing my things so that y'all can get them. My second reason I feel like kind of plays in to the same thing is that I do, I feel like, I, I saw an artist explain this once and I was like, that is it. Like I've had this, like I feel a certain way about things, but to put like how I feel about things into words is entirely different. So it's very difficult. Um, bear with me, but I am, you know, I'm a small artist. I'm not like some big famous um, person that is able to charge like what I should be charging. Does that make sense? Oh, this is such a weird conversation to navigate because I don't want to come off any certain way, but I I kind of just wanted to like start the conversation on my channel because I know a lot of y'all are also artists so I don't know if you'll be able to relate or if you'll like have advice for me. I'm an open book. I'm not one of those people that thinks that I know all the answers. I'm actually the very opposite. <laughs> I, I feel like I don't have any answers. So not that I'm easily like swayed in the wrong direction. Anyway, I'm open to hearing other people's experiences and, and what they think and their thoughts on stuff. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I know, look how perfect this cookie is. She's a baker. If you think that browning the butter for your cookies is like a waste of time, or like you don't feel like doing it, just try it. Just try it once. 
you'll never go back. Okay, back to the topic at hand. <laughs> Sorry. I kind of want to like build up. And if someday I become a huge famous <laughs> rug artist, then, uh, then I will overcharge y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a small artist. I'm a small business. And so it's really hard to find the line between like charging enough to be able to pay myself and like pay my bills and stuff and like not lose money on an item while also being able to charge a price that is accessible for people especially right now I can't afford literally anything like necessities so me selling rugs and art it's just not a necessity um and i I fully realize that and I fully feel the effect of it myself. And that coupled with my other thing about like y'all being able to like have my art in your home, that means so much to me. Obviously, in truth, <laughs> I need to pay my bills more than I need. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. I think those two coupled together. I want my art in your home. I want my, my, my art to be accessible to people while also like, you know, realizing that, that affording anything is super ridiculous right now. Also with, I'm not this big famous artist that can charge crazy prices and people will still pay for it, you know? So all of those things are why, yes, I do kind of undercharge. And again, this is, I'm not undercharging where like, you know, I'm struggling or like, I'm definitely, you know, a, a, an artist. I'm definitely a small business to say, that's to say I'm not uh, rolling in it. But this is such a weird conversation. And I hope nobody takes it in a weird way. And if I've said something in a weird way, let me know. Because <laughs> I don't want it to come off a weird way. Yeah, I don't know. I I want to say I hope that makes sense, but I feel like it didn't. But maybe some of y'all, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe some of y'all will relate or understand where I'm coming from. I'm just riding that line. So with that said, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to ship these pillows and the wall hangings out. As I'm talking to you right now, the butterfly rug is still available and the spider web rug and pillow, like spider pillow, the set, um, is also still available. I'm hoping that'll change, we'll see. But yeah, we gotta get stamping. We gotta get stamping the cards, we gotta get stamping the paper. I got a new roll of paper and a whole new set of cards. I'm very excited to get going on prepping these boxes and stuff. I'm hoping, actually, you know what we should do? We should tuft a little bit first and then we should do the stamping. Um, reason for that is because I haven't gotten um, my sound, my soundproofing panels yet for, I'm gonna put some on the ceiling. I hope that helps. I think I'm gonna put some all around. I was also considering making my own because they're ridiculously priced. <laughs> like, couldn't I get like a canvas frame without the canvas on it? Or even with the canvas. But let's say I got a canvas, you know, with the wood. What if I put like felt? on it, it, on the canvas part, and then st kind of stuffed the, the whole back area with like a foam. Would that be less expensive or would that just be like equally as expensive or maybe even more? Anyway, I wanna do the tufting first because um, neighbors are all at work <laughs> right now. So I like to do the tufting earlier in the day before they get home from work because I don't want anyone to be like, what is that crazy sound? And then we can do the stamping after. So look at this shot. Look how adorable and peaceful and happy and wonderful that is. All right, we're going to do the blue flowers on the moss piece.
Y'all, I have, well, first of all, this happened. Uh, we only have one more color to go, which is pretty nice. I have developed something. I'm not saying that no one's ever done this before. I have no clue, but I was stamping my cards and I had this idea because for some reason, I found this container of like faux gold leaf in the same like box as my stamping stuff. And it gave me this idea. What if I stamp, you know, my cards and then while the paint is still wet, I could press a little gold leaf on some sections and then maybe dust off the excess. Look how snazzy that is. Look how so, oh my God. Are you, are you kidding me? It's beautiful. It is, oh my God. It's so, it's so, I'm in love. I have no word for it. That's why I keep saying it's so, period. It's so, okay? Any word you wanna put besides like ugly or something, cause that'd be a big fat lie. I think this one's dry. We could dust it together. Do -do -do. I'm just surrounded by cameras all the live long day. Let's do this one together. Oh, that piece completely came off, that's okay. Oh, it's upside down. I was like, what is happening here? Oh my god, this one's so cool. It has some of the gold on the teeth. I thought that would be like way too small. Look how cool that is. I kind of can't get over that. You should place an order just for the card. <laughs> Look how beautiful. I kind of want to frame this. What? Stop. Look at it like really up close. What? Alrighty, I'm gonna put you, excuse me, excuse me, put you back over here and we're gonna do the rest. I do have quite a few cards out just cause I'm just gonna try to just have enough for like future orders and future drops so I don't have to do this every single time. Hey y'all, it is the next day. Um, my cards came out like really, really fantastic. I know I showed them to you yesterday, but I kind of can't get over this. Like it's a whole extra step, but I don't think, I don't think I can like go back because it's so my vibe that I think this is, I'm gonna have to do this. At least, you know, for the cards. I don't think I could do this for the paper. Another update is that the spiderweb rug and spiderweb <laughs> the spiderweb rug and the spider pillow set uh sold yesterday i'm so i'm so excited i'm so grateful it's just like really cool um so at this point the last thing that is available from the most recent drop is the butterfly rug which is so crazy because like i love i love everything that i make but I've said this from the start of like drawing that. I was like, this is special. So I feel like my favorite one is always the one that like lingers, like the cake. But yeah, last last thing is the butterfly, which I'm I'm so excited to see who uh, who snags that. So all of these orders, by the way, are gonna go out Friday. So if you want to get the butterfly. It will go out at the same time as everything else on Friday. If you get it, obviously, if you order it before Friday. Also, all the, like, comments from y'all and just, oh, ah, God. I don't, I know I've talked about this before, but I just feel like sometimes I have that. The phrase is, is escaping me right now, but that thing where that's, like, I, I feel like I don't deserve and I know that's dumb. You don't need to tell me. Being a, a solo artist is very difficult and for y'all to support me in the way that you do is is just I'm really grateful. You know, I'm just I'm just some random girl. <laughs>
<laughs> in New Hampshire like I just <laughs> and uh, you guys care about these videos and you guys care about my art and you care about me as a person and Sean and my cat and it's just I love y'all like more than you will ever know <laughs> I feel like it would be cool to like someday somehow like I don't have the hugest audience but if we could all like gather somewhere and do like some kind of like meet and greet thing that would be really cool <laughs> I would probably I would probably um, have to wear the most waterproof makeup I could possibly find because I'd be crying all day anyway um I'm gonna end this video here I have a lot of stamping to do and packing Packing up these orders. Butterfly, come on, Butterfly wants to go out on Friday as well. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below. It really helps out my channel. You can follow me in all of these places. It is usually at Artsy Mad Woman besides Twitch and Tumblr, which is the Artsy Mad Woman. Now that we've done the drop, I gotta pick a day. I gotta pick a day to start the stream. Starting is gonna be the hardest part, you know? There's gonna be a lot of kinks that we have to work out when we start. I also have to, the day is important, but not as much as the time of day. Cause everybody else in the building, like if we're tufting, I like to tuft when, when everybody's at work. <laughs> Everyone starts to come home around two or three, which is when I want it to start the stream. What time is like 12 o'clock noon Eastern for you guys wherever you are like Australia wherever you are what time is that for you? Is that the most ridiculous time? I was also considering maybe the stream will mostly be like hanging out talking and chatting um, Or like playing games and just hanging out and chatting. I don't know. It depends on what time 12 noon would be for y'all. So let me know down in the comments. How many times am I gonna ask about the stream? I'm really sorry, I'm not trying to like stall at this point. I really wanna start. I just wanna do it right. But you know what, actually? I should just start and then I think I'm worried about no one being able to show up in the middle of a Tuesday. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, back to the outro. <laughs> Link for my website is down in the description along with all the other links. I love y'all to absolute death. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.